This segment of Labatt Buffalo Main Event is brought to you by O Restaurant and Lounge, 3047 Sheridan Drive in Amherst. It's not just a place to eat, it's something to do. Welcome back to Labatt Buffalo Main Event. Bob Gaughan and Brad Ryder. It's time for the O Restaurant and Lounge email segment. Go to our website, buffalomainevent.com, click on the Old Restaurant and Lounge email, give us an email, and if we use it, we'll give you a $25 gift certificate to Old Restaurant and Lounge. The first email comes from Carson and Tonawanda Brad. It says, Turner Gill just signed a contract extension through 2012. What are the chances that Turner Gill stays through 2012? It depends. Is UB never going to win a football game again? Because if UB never wins again, he might, he might say be here because nobody else is going to want him. But um, it really, I mean. What do contract extensions con mean in college football anymore? It, Nothing, in right? The Mac, in the MAC, a contract extension means if I don't have anything better to do, sure, <laughs> I agree that I'll stick around here. Uh, that's all it means, and that's okay. And West I mean, Virginia doesn't mean anything either, apparently. That's, that's true. <laughs> no, uh, I mean, it doesn't mean anything to any, any coach. Yeah, the, the basic concept is I'll stick around until there's something better to do. That's the way that it works. Uh, in college football, and uh, that's okay. Uh, I, I want Turner Gill to be here as long as he can. The longer he stays, the higher profile, the right. new job he gets, the better it is for the program as well. If Turner Gill goes to, and obviously it's not going to be Nebraska now, but if he goes to a big time program from UB, that's going to help you bring in your next coach because your next co next coach is thinking that UB is a stepping stone and. You know, it's kind of It'd pathetic, be the first coach, right? It would be the first UB coach. I mean, all the other UB coaches go to become insurance salesmen or yeah. something else. Craig Service, you know, Jim, Jim Hoffer, Hoffer, whatever. They go. They don't go to the next big job. It's your last coaching job. It's your it's your last coaching job. Now Turner Gill goes to a better coaching job, like you said. It yeah. brings in. You uh, become a, a stepping coach. stone. That's a good sign exactly. for the program. You get that's that a reputation. Step. Sure, as a, a place that helps a coach. Uh, further his career. Next email comes from Smitty in Cheek Duaga. It says, when Tom Galasano bought the Sabres, he was thought of as the savior. Do you still see him the same way after the loss of Drury, Briere, and now possibly Brian Campbell? No, I don't see him as a savior. I see him as a great businessman. I think he made a great, and I mean great, business move at that particular time when he bought the Sabres. He saw that you know, there was a chance that the league was going to change, that this franchise that was on the verge of going under could become solvent and make a lot of money. And what did he do? He's now got a franchise, or he's got an asset that is worth a heck of a lot more money than he paid for it. So that was a great business move. But Savior, I don't see him as a Savior when it came to keeping Briere, Drury, when it keeps to, you know, keeping Brian Campbell. I have no hope that he's going to, you know, step up with the money to do that. So, no, I, I don't see him as a savior anymore. I see him as a phenomenal businessman. Yeah, when all is said and done, though, is this team here without him? I, I think he still does. Granted, he needed the assets. He needed the cash to be the guy that comes in on a white horse and fixes it all. Um, so, to a certain extent, I still think that is the case. I don't know if this hockey team is here if he didn't do what he did. Now, is it being run into the ground? No, I don't think it is by any stretch of the imagination, but it's certainly not uh, where Sabres fans would like it to be right now. That said, you take a look at this team, and I know there's so much talk about a 10-game losing streak that finally came to an end. Instead of looking at the streak, just take a look at the standings. They're still right there with everyone else. There are two teams running away with things in the East. Ottawa, of course. And New Jersey from there down from third place to 13th place whatever we're still talking about a tiny little gap where you have a good week or two you're in the hunt and this is a team that still to me has the potential in the playoffs to freak some people out I wouldn't want to play against this team uh, come playoff time so uh, before we use a 10 game losing streak to cast judgment on the entire franchise and on the owner and say that he's worthless at this point um, let's not forget that the standings still look Pretty favorable for I'd like to team. hear from him, though. It would be nice to hear from him at some particular point. He's been, I think, kind almost too, too yeah. quiet. Too quiet. Uh, thank you for your emails. Again, go to our website, buffalomainevent.com, and email us, and you can get a $25 gift certificate to Old Restaurant and Lounge. Coming up next on Labatt Buffalo Main Event, it is Paul Hamilton from WGR Radio.
third annual Labatt Blue USA Hockey Pond Hockey Championship, Eagle River, Wisconsin. Grab your own pond hockey helmet, too, and specially marked cases. No purchase necessary. Must be at least 21 years of age or older. Whenever I get an opportunity to speak to a group of seniors, the first thing that I like to talk about is planning ahead. Whenever we have a conversation, I hear things like, well, I want to stay in my home forever, and that is wonderful. It's a great plan. It's a nice vision to have, and it's quite frankly probably possible. But there's always the possibility that it may not be. If you don't take an active role in planning now, you may not have the opportunity to participate when the time comes. Bristol Home and Bristol Village. Assisted living where family matters.